In this video, we'd like to discuss in Math 94, Section 10.2, which covers the topic of scientific notation. This is like homework number 8, problems 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. In our world, we have some very large and some very small numbers. Scientific notation is an application of the rules of exponents to help us write very large numbers. This really large number right here is actually a number used in chemistry, um, and it's very, very long. When we write a number this way, like it's written like this, it's written in decimal or standard notation. This number right here is the approximate time in seconds it takes your computer to do one operation. That's a really, really small number. These have a lot of zeros. They're just very large. It would be useful to have a way to write these more compactly. And the way we do this is called scientific notation. Here's the definition. A number is written in scientific notation if it is written in the form a times 10 to the n, where a is between 1 and 10, and n is just an integer. For example, let's consider the number 4,000, which is 4 times 1,000. Well, I'd like to write 1,000 4 certainly is between 1 and 10, but I'd like to write 1,000 as a power of 10. So what are some of the positive powers of 10? 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 1st is 10. 10 squared is 100. 10 cubed is 1,000. 10 to the 4th is 10,000. You'll notice that when you have a power of 10, this exponent represents the number of zeros at the end. So 10 to the cubed, three zeros. 10 squared, two zeros. The other thing you'll notice is that when you have a number written 4 ti times 100, it can be written 4 times 10 to the third. So this has taken this number and put it into scientific notation. Another way to think about this is if you think about the number 4,000, the decimal point is right here. To write it in scientific notation, I have to move the decimal point so that there's just one digit in front of it because that number has to be between 1 and 10. So I have to write this 4.0, or just 4. And you'll notice that 4.0 is a lot smaller than 4,000, so I've got to multiply it by 10. How many times? 1, 2, 3 times. So this is 4,000 in scientific notation. Let's try another one. This really large number, the decimal place is right here, and I want to move it so it's 5.67. To get 5.67 to this number, which is 567 million, I need to move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So I'm going to have to multiply by 10 to the 8th power. This is a much smaller number than this, so I'm going to have to multiply by something big. So, what about some more powers of 10 so we can write small numbers? 10 to the minus 1 equals 1 tenth, which is 0.1. 10 to the minus 2 is 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100, which is 0 0.01. 10 to the minus 3 is 1 over 10 cubed, which is 1 over 1,000, which is 0 0.001. And 10 to the minus 4 is 10 to the 1 over 10 fourth, which is 1 over 10,000, which is 0 0.0001. So how do I take 0 0.0005, that number written in decimal notation, and write it in scientific notation, which would have to have one number in front of the decimal point, so I'd have to move the decimal point over so it's in front of the 5, right after the 5, then I'd have to multiply by a power of 10. Well, certainly the number 5.0 is much larger than the number 0 .0005. So I'm going to have to multiply by a negative power of 10. Or I'm going to have to take 5 and divide it by 10 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So if I have my decimal point here, I divide 1 time by 10 to move it there, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. So this is 5.0 times 10 to the minus 4. Here, to write this number in scientific notation, 
I want to move the decimal point from here all the way so that it's 1.23. Remember, I need a number between 1 and 10, so I need one non-zero number in front of the decimal point. To do that, I'm going to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So I'm going to multiply by 10 to, well, this number is quite a bit smaller than 1.23. So I'm going to have to multiply by a negative exponent, and I'm going to have to multiply by negative 5. Now, I want you to take a moment and maybe write these problems in scientific notation. See if you can do that, then we'll come back and talk about them. So pause the video now. Okay, 5,600, the decimal point is here. I want it to be 5.6. 5.6 is smaller, so I'm going to have to move the decimal point one, two, three times to get this to be in the right form. 560, I want that to be 5.6. Also, I want one number in front of the decimal point. So I'm going to have to move the decimal point one, two times, and it's going to be larger. This one, 5.6 times 10 to the what? about five times. And this one, 5.6 times 10 here, the decimal will have to make 5.6 a much smaller number, so I'm going to have to move, make a negative exponent. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, 5.6 times 10 to the negative 5. Okay. Sometimes we have to convert from scientific notion to notation, decimal notation to scientific notation, if I start with this and I want to multiply by 10 to the minus 7, I'm going to divide by 10 to the first, 10 to the minus second, minus third, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 5, 1, 1. So, that would be what we would get here. This one, 2.0 times 10 to the minus 1. I'll just have to divide by 10 once. That's just going to be 0.2. And this one, 2.512 times 10 to the fifth. I'm going to start with 2.512. I'm multiplying by a larger number. So I'm multiplying by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And I end up with 2, 5, 1, 2, 0, 0. 251,200. Now, a little bit about math with scientific notation. You might recall the two rules of exponents, x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b, and x to the a over x to the b equals x to the a minus b. We can do that on a problem like this. Now, notice this says 8.0 times 10 to the minus 3 times... 3.5 times 10 to the minus 6. Since everything is multiplication here, I can take 8.0 and multiply it by 3.5, and 10 to the minus 3, and multiply that by 10 to the minus 6. The reason I like doing this is because now I have my numbers that are not powers of 10 grouped together, and I have my numbers that are powers of 10 grouped together. 8.0 times 3.5 is 28. 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 6. Using this rule of exponents, I'm going to add these exponents. I have the same base. 10 to the minus 3 plus minus 6 is minus 9. Now, that is 2.0. 28 is 2.8 times 10 to the first. And 10 to the minus 9 is 10 to the minus 9. So this is going to finally end up being 2.8 times 10 to the minus 8. So that's using a lot of the rules of exponents that we have talked about so far. On your calculator, you can do scientific notation in a lot of different ways. Um, you can do these problems by just sometimes typing them in exactly like they are, like that one was 8.0 times 10 raised to the minus 3, and then 
3.5 times 10 raised to the minus 6. And notice it gives me the answer like this, 2.8e to the minus 8. That little e means times 10 to the minus 8. That's scientific notation. If you want to, there is, however, a button on your calculator, this right here, this EE, that allows you to access scientific notation directly. So I could have done this problem 8, instead of saying times 10 to the minus 3, hit second comma, and I get that little E, minus 3, times 3.5 E minus 6, and I get the same thing. Okay, last problem for us to look at is this one. 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 9. So that problem right there, you could think about this way. This is all multiplication up here. So I could do 7.5 over 2.5, and I could do 10 to the minus 3 over 10 to the 9. Now, 7.5 over 2.5 is straight up 3. 10 to the minus 3, 10 to the minus 9, I'm going to use this rule of exponents, and I'm going to subtract those exponents. Minus 3, minus 9. So 3 times 10 to the minus 3, minus 9 is going to give me 3 times 10 to the minus 12. Okay, if you want to try that on your calculator, it's kind of interesting to try this with scientific notation. I have 7.5e to the minus 3 divided by 2.5e to the 9. Whoops. Well, I've, I put a little uh, extra symbol in there. And that gives me 3 times 10 to the minus 12, which is what you had. I hope you find this video useful.